Hi, this is Trisha, and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to use the overlays that I made. Um, we're going to pickmonkey.com, and it's just www.pickmonkey.com, and um, you just click on the make something. Uh, and I always start with opening the actual card, um, so you can have your card as the correct size. So there's the first one, which is the Santa and the Baroque frame. So then you just go click on Overlays and add your own. This is where we're going to find a picture. This is an image of some friends of ours. I did the photo shoot for them last year, and they allowed me to use this in a in this tutorial. I thought it was a really cute picture. And uh, so you just kind of put it where you want it on the overlay doesn't have to be perfect um, and then you're gonna go back now you're gonna add the actual card you're gonna use uh, which usually would be the same one depending on what you're working on um, so just go back and open it again and now for some reason it does not come out to the same size um, so you just adjust your image these are pretty easy to adjust um, they seem to be proportionate um, now the images are not that way, but the overlays are. Um, so just kind of set it where you want. You can probably make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to, but just um, try to size it up. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you want to look for centering and stuff like that. Uh, make sure you don't um, have any of the underneath showing because that would show on any prints that you make. Here I'm just lining it up. And then just click off and then click back on the image and then set your image where you want. You want to center it and be careful at the bottom because it would show through. Like if you have it raised up too much, it'll show through. So you want to kind of make sure it's fitted in the frame correctly. And that's it. It's done. Now you just want to save it. And um, there's different sizes in PicMonkey. Uh, you can look at them and it tells you the resolution. Um, if you're doing it for the web, that low res is fine. If you're doing it just for Facebook, Pierce, um, I've kind of kept them at Pierce for this project that I'm working on. Um, I actually have not printed any samples yet. I, I want to do that just to kind of get a difference in them. Uh, but for this um, size of a card, it's about a 4x6. The Pierce should be good. And then if, it's always better to save bigger, in my opinion. So if you don't know for sure, then just save it bigger. Um, you can drop down and save your different sizes. Um, you can also save to your computer, or you can download it. And the only thing with downloading is you need to make sure you know where your downloads save. Um, and then uh, it, that's where mine go. If you don't know my um, computer, I'm in Windows 10. Uh, and then they'll go there. And then when you uh, put your file name, you can go click on save to your computer and then you can put it wherever you'd like it. And you can rename it, but make sure that you have the um, extension, either JPEG or PNG, because it will not save. It does not do that for you if you don't have it in there. So that's it, real quick and simple. Um, I'm going to go through another one just uh, just to give you some ideas of what they look like um, and how easy they really are to work with. This one is um, a snowman. And actually these that I'm doing here with the, the snowman and the frosty, I actually got those images off of a, a website that allows you to use those images um, and um, it's called Pixabay. I may leave a link down below if you're interested in making your own cards. Um, they have some really great images and um, they allow you to use them. I did the I did the different things too like adding uh, the overlay um, and then cropped out the box. I did all of that in Photoshop um, uh, but I thought those just were just too cute for Christmas cards as I was just kind of playing around. Um, I mainly just wanted to do this to um, show you how to use the overlays that I did. Um, my 
hand lettering set that I released a few days ago. Um, that's kind of what made me start this project and I've always wanted to do some cards. Um, and I actually do kind of make my own each year. Um, but this was just fun, fun project to work on and um, I just love doing stuff like this. Again, I'm just going through and saving it again. You want to rename it if you need to. The good thing is if you save it to your computer, you can rename it when you do your file. Oops. Okay, so that one was that one. Um, the, I did some portrait sizes and some landscape and then that snowman has a little snow scene um, if you have a light picture you know you may not want to use that one you may want to just use the blank one but with that darker image I kind of wanted something to contrast with it um, the one thing on here I'm going to use different uh, overlays but I'm just keeping the same background open because they're all about the same size um, you don't have to reopen it every time and I don't know if you're going to be doing this this many pictures um, but if you want some variety and to play around and learn you can do that this picture is my mom and her husband in San Diego I thought this was just a cute picture of them and uh, she liked um, this uh, overlay that I'm going to use for them uh, and uh, so I thought I would use this one as in how to use them in the tutorial. I took off a few things and just put the Be Merry All. I just love that. <laughs> it's, I'm from Texas and I say that probably way too much, but it's just fun. Um, so what I'm doing here is just showing you um, some different options. Like if you want to add your own greeting or like add your name or the year. To this, um, Pick Monkey has some wonderful fonts that you can use. And here, my computer was locking up as I was filming this, so <laughs> it wouldn't respond. So it took me a minute to get it to work. Apologize for the delay in that. Um, I think I ended up stopping and getting it to work and coming back. So um, you just hit Add Text. You, there are tons and tons of fonts that they have, but if it has that crown. That means you have to have a subscription, and PicMonkey has that. I I just use the free version, um, but um, because I have a ton of fonts that I use in, in different design projects, so I I don't use the paid version, and I usually use um, Photoshop for all my editing. But this is a fun, quick way to just do something really quick. I love that Chanel font; it's just adorable. But it's a paid one. I think I ended up going with Sacramento. The other thing you do if you have your own fonts that you like, if you click yours, you can just add them. So you want to position where you want your phrase or your greeting or sentiment. And if you want it centered, it has a whole lot of options for you. Um, you just go ahead and type it in. Um, I just went with Christmas 2016 just to keep it simple. And you can pick your colors. Um, you actually um, need to click off of it first before you change the colors. And I think it took me a second to figure that out. And so, um, and then I think my computer locked up again also. So they just click on the box. And then if you click on that mark, you can just use that eyedropper tool and make that match a picture uh, or something from your picture. I ended up going with the same color as the Mary, just for this example. Uh, and then again, you just don't always save it. Uh, you know, it takes time. Even if you don't love it, you can play with it and save it and then go back and look at your different work. And then, you know, make sure you save your name. And I'm just kind of showing again, just in case you forget. That you can download. I like that option to download it. I think it's a lot quicker. And then I go through one more example where I use one of the blank cards. Now these I did design. I know that um, those stripes are really popular. And uh, the gold overlays, I was inspired. I was in Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago and they have a ton of gold and white 
stuff, and it, I just love it. And I love polka dots. I actually have a, a red and black and white polka dot thing on my Etsy store that I just think is so cute. So this one looks pretty similar, but I have the gold foil background. I actually got that from a designer that gives stuff away, the gold. I use that, and, um, and I can list that. If you're into making your own stuff, I can list more resources, too. And then resize, and I think my computer kind of got mad at me and locked up again here, so apologize for that. <clears throat> Um, so let's go in and um, here I go in and actually go to my um, the word art that I have on my blog I'm going in and picking another one another one from there you just go to the PNGs and there they all are um, I put cheers over this one for like a New Year's card or a party invitation would be cute I have a lot. I think there's 35, 34 or 35 phrases or words. I didn't do phrases in this one. I just did words just because I like mixing the hand lettering and um, regular fonts. Um, this just shows how easy it is to manipulate your overlays to however you want it. And you can change the colors on these and you can blend them um, with all the different options in PicMucky. It's really easy to use. I think I ended up using that same Sacramento, kind of drawn to that. Um, I don't remember what I ended up using. No, I did not use that one on this one. I went with something else that was um, a more uh, sans serif font, I believe. Um, I went with, I think I went with that Camellia. I can't remember. I think I ended up going back up there. Yeah, I used that camellia. I thought that was just a really nice, simple font to go with the, the brush lettering look on Cheers. But I'm, I just love that simple, clean look. Um, the foil adds some elegance, and you know, and it's pretty trendy for this year. Um, you can resize. Again, you have to be out of the box. You can't do it while you're typing. You have to just kind of click on the text box to change it, and then it's just showing you how to do it. I didn't leave it that small. Um, and that, for me, that's a little light for for this, but it's cute. Um, there's another way to resize it. If you just pull and drag the box, it's real easy to work with. I just love Pink Monkey. <clears throat> And I think that's about it. I think I'm just kind of checking things. Um, it, you can do your layers. Like I, if you wanted to do a Christmas card, that um, Christmas is still there. I ended up pushing the layer back behind it because I didn't really want that to show. I mean, it's a little tricky at times once you are working with so many different overlays. But if you just save your work and if you are really not sure what you're doing, you can... Um, you know, just work with it and save it and just go back and play. It's just a lot of fun. Um, and that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you use them. If you use them, any of my overlays, please um, tag me or...